What to Watch. I'm Clint Gage. With me is Joshua Yale. Hello. And we uh, are still on that Spider-Man beat. You mean the fact that Spider-Man is no longer being shared by Sony and Marvel and can no longer appear in the MCU? It's a big deal. We gotta keep. We gotta keep talking about it. Let's do it. <laughs> so, the crux of it is he. We are assuming that Spider-Man will no longer be able to show up in MCU films, the crossover films, Makes the sense. Civil Wars, the Avengers. Yep. We're assuming that his solo films won't be so tied to the MCU the way that Homecoming and Far From Home were. Um, so now let's start to speculate about what is Sony going to do with Spider-Man moving forward? That is a great question. But luckily last year with Venom, they started what they are calling, officially, this is true, the Sony universe of Marvel characters. Rolls right off the tongue. Rolls right off the tongue. And so luckily they have uh, a place to introduce Spider-Man into the world that began with Venom. That is also um, presumably, even though they have not officially said, where Morbius, played by Jared Leto, which is coming out, uh, it's actually in production right now. Uh, but yeah, that will be coming out as well. And yeah. we're, we're all, you know, that's a, a Spider-Man supporting character who's getting a solo movie. So we assume he's being folded into it as well. So the smart money is for Spider-Man to first show up in the SUMC in a crossover type movie. I totally see that happening. Or maybe, you know, they, they just got to work on Venom 2. Andy Serkis is directing. Tom Hardy's right. returning, uh, as, as well as Michelle Williams. So I would not be surprised for either in the movie or a, one of those post-credit stingers we love so much mm -hmm. to feature Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Is that the best move that they can make, put him straight into a Venom movie? I think so, because even though uh, Venom wasn't that well-received <laughs> critically, it made right. a ton of money and it was very fan-pleasing. Because uh, I personally feel that it was a poorly made movie, but Venom himself, right. and, you know, uh, Eddie and the Symbiote was awesome. Tom Hardy playing opposite Tom Hardy in one body, lots of fun. Yes, that, so that, that's like the, the, the gold nugget right. in that movie that they'd be wise to pull out and then put play against Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Of course, the tone of Tom Holland's Spider-Man is very MCU tone. Mm -hmm. And is not what we got in Venom, but I, so I think there there might be a little uh, clashing of senses of, of humor and of heroism. But uh, I think that'll be the fun of seeing the characters, you know, butt heads. And I, that was what most people wanted out of Venom: of like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun! I really want to see Spider-Man show up. So now they will get it, and, and it would be in, in Sony's best interest to lean into what the fans want. Because before we were thinking, oh, we might never get to see Tom Hardy's Venom mm -hmm. meet Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but now it seems the best bet. I mean, you're, you're talking about the movie; it it got panned pretty well. It did make a bunch of money. People. They liked it okay for the most part. Is there any goodwill because of the way this is going down, this Sony Marvel split here and the, the it rights for Spider Man, the way it's all going down, is there going to be any goodwill for a Spider Man Venom movie to get any sort of benefit of the doubt, do you think? Because I feel like Venom got a lot of, you know, it's like, it's not great. But it was fun, and they didn't like completely ruin Venom. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like it slid under the radar a little bit. It got a little bit of benefit of the doubt. But because of the way this is all going down between Disney and Sony, do you think that's going to exist at all for a Tom Holland and Tom Hardy movie? You know, that's a great question because I'll tell you what. Right now, I feel like sort of uh, like a family member died or is, <laughs> or is, was like sent off right. to war or something like that was ripped away because you know me and a lot of sh people a lot of fans I'm sure could relate to the fact that they became very emotionally endeared to Tom Holland and they saw him come in as this like really soft quiet like awkward uh, yeah. kid who was essentially raised by his pseudo father figure Tony Stark, and we saw his journey throughout the MCU. It was one of the most, uh, you know, memorable and memeable and uh, moving moments you're, you're in MCU to cry history. A bit right now. Uh, you know what I'm going to say when misty. he gets when he gets dusted in an Infinity War, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't feel so good, and uh, to have him now taken away from that family feels very jarring. Right. And I'm angry at Sony and Disney, you know, and it's like, why, yeah. why are you doing this? Why are you ripping the family apart? You had such a good thing going. Um, and a lot of people were, were invested in his arc when, especially at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, Peter got enough confidence in himself to take up the legacy of Iron Man. And there's yeah. a scene that, the one scene in that movie that made me cry was when Happy sees him doing like the thing with the hologram 
and finally acting like Tony and building stuff. And he's like, oh man, he, you know, we're gonna be all right. We have this this success here to yeah. Iron Man. Look, look at him go. Uh, and so turns out you don't. Turns out <laughs> you don't. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that that is going to be something to get over. Um, but I do think, yeah, that giving the fans what they want, which is a Spider-Man Venom crossover right. that they would not have gotten in the MCU, is is sort of like the one solve you can put on it. Right. Right. So we're assuming it's it's going to happen. The smart money is, is we're going to get a Venom and a Spider-Man movie at some point in the, probably the very near future. Um, what story should they do? Where What direction should that dynamic go? So I don't have a specific comic book story in mind because Spider-Man and Venom have fought in a bunch of times over the years and they've teamed up to fight other people over the years. But I do think it would be great to pit them against each other. But think of it like this. You know, like we had... Batman v Superman, how about Spider-Man versus Venom, Dawn of Carnage, right? Like they they team up to fight um, Woody Harrelson's Carnage or something like that. Right. Even though Venom 2 will probably feature Carnage in some way, but what if, you know, Carnage rallies the other spider villains and we get like the the, the Sinister Six or right. something? Uh, kind of like Batman v Superman where, the, you know, it's Batman versus Superman, but they ended up teaming up to fight uh, essentially Lex and Doomsday. Yeah, right? they fight each other for a bit, then they have a con common yes. enemy, then they find out their moms have the same name. It's a tale as old as time. <laughs> same thing's going to happen. Yeah, that that is a concern, though. Like, it, would they... I feel like they might be better off to do some solo stuff first because that's exactly what Dawn of Justice, DC tried to do with Dawn of Justice, right? We do the big team up and then we'll split them off is, is sort of the idea, um, which it didn't work out for them and it, like other franchises that have tried to do that these you know other other big properties that have tried to do the shared universe thing and starting with the big thing and then going from there it, like they they always whiff and so that that's the concerning thing for me i'm worried everybody i'm worried sony's gonna have a shiny new toy and they're gonna they're gonna play it wrong well they're gonna break the it they're gonna open it first of all don't open the shiny toy it's gonna be <laughs> worth something later if in my head how i see it is well, we already got venom we're going to get Morbius next. Then we're going to get Venom 2. Maybe we get a solo Spider-Man movie where mm -hmm. we meet maybe Black Cat or Silver Sable. And so we're kind of... Like, can they even resolve what happened at the end of Far From Home? Like, they're going to have to. Not the way to. anyone was thinking they are going to. They're going to have to do something, though, right? <laughs> right. They will resolve that cliffhanger somehow. Somehow. And then maybe you do the Venom and Spider-Man crossover. So you sort of, like, set it up in a couple movies and some of the supporting characters. Yeah. And then uh, you have Venom fights uh, Spider-Man, but then they but then they bring in maybe they're kind of like Civil War. They bring in other supporting heroes to, to mm. help them out in in the fight. So yeah, that that way you get you get Morbius in there. You get sure. Silver Sable, Black Cat. Yeah, you got to earn that first, though. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but I think maybe they could do it, and then perhaps in that same movie. Uh, they set up the Sinister Six. Like you introduce a couple more characters who can mm -hmm. fill out that roster, and then you get a Sinister Six movie, which was felt like it was going to happen for a right. while. There had been many reports about it, but then uh, those all went away, and it's, yeah. it, it was you know taken off uh, off the docket. But it could very quickly jump back up should you know a Spider-Man Venom crossover movie be a success. All right, that is what we think of where Spider-Man is headed next, maybe to a Venom crossover movie. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And for more on the future of comic book movies, check out our discussion about Phase 4 of the MCU and why Deadpool might not need an R rating. And as always, subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. See you next time. Gamescom is the biggest gaming event on Earth, and IGN at Gamescom Now is bringing it to you live all week long. We've got exclusive gameplay, demos, cosplay, esports, and so much more. If you can't be here in person, IGN at Gamescom Now is the next best thing. IGN Live at Gamescom is presented by Alienware. Alienware. We're game.